Okay, friends. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do um, a graphite transfer method, which is a really popular uh, drawing method amongst artists if they want to draw symmetry or transfer one image to another canvas or piece of paper. And so um, you can see, as I've taught you before, here's my little message to you. I miss you. Anyway, um, symmetry is when there are two sides and if you fold them in half, they're the exact same. So our hands are symmetrical, our face is symmetrical, this butterfly is symmetrical. But if you've tried to draw um, like a face with two eyes and a nose and you have to draw on the same uh, either side and it looks wonky because you can't get it perfect, boy do I have the trick for you. So today you just need a pencil and you need two pieces of computer paper. Just the kind that you put in the printer. Eight and a half by eleven. And you want it to be thin paper because we're going to need to see through it. So uh, the first thing that I want you to do is you're going to take one sheet of paper and you're going to fold it hamburger style. Not hot dog, but hamburger or taco. And we're going to open that up now I know that you guys have a lot of energy because you've been indoors and you're not seeing your friends so this is going to get out all your squiggles and energies. Take your pencil and you're going to use the side of the pencil and you're going to just cover this whole half of that piece of paper up to the fold line in graphite. Now this is a pure graphite pencil that I love so this is going to help me go faster for the sake of time. So I'm just going to get that energy out, get that energy out get that energy out and I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the paper because that's going to be really important and I'm just going to say oh I want to go back to school I want to see my students I can't take this anymore and we're just going to get this graphite cover in the sheet of paper now this is what we're going to use to transfer our image this is pure graphite from a pencil and it's almost like we're going to go to the copy machine and make an image. So uh, I'm going to go fast for the sake of time, but if you need to pause it and get that energy out, you just do it and take your own time. Okay, so we've got a lot of graphite here, which is great. We're going to put that to the side for a second, and we're going to get our other sheet of paper. And again, we're going to fold that. We're going to fold that hamburger style again fold it in half, give it a good crease. And for the sake of symmetry, we're going to draw a butterfly. So you've got this nice fold line that we're going to use and we're only going to draw on one side of the paper. So I'm just going to put this line here so you can see it. You don't have to. And we're going to start over here. You can draw with me. We're going to do half of a butterfly. So I'm going to draw kind of a hot dog shape, half of a hot dog. And I'm going to do a half circle for the head. And this is his body. I'm going to give him a cute eyeball, nice smile, and a little antenna. Now this is a really strong caterpillar because he's been flying, so I'm going to give him a six pack. He is strong. Urgh, he's been flying all over the place against the wind. And I am going to do that. And um, next we're going to do the wing. Now you know I like imaginary, but also if you want to do a real butterfly, go outside and look for a butterfly and study it with your eyes. Look at the colors, look at the patterns, the lines. Or you can look at an image on the internet. But I'm going to draw imaginary butterfly. So a butterfly has a top wing and a bottom wing. It's kind of like a triangle without the tip here. And I like tiger swallowtails. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they have this nice little teardrop happening there. And this is the fun part. If you don't want to go out and draw from reality, you can um, go and make an imaginary thing. So wing, I'm going to do some spirals. I'm going to do some dots. Maybe a dot here. I'm going to do a big heart. And I'm going to do a little heart. 
and I'm going to do some big spiral here and a couple more dots. Now you can take your time and design it. And I'm going to do, I don't know, what am I going to do? I'm going to do some patterns like this, just some lines. Ooh, we have a nice little butterfly. Okay, now here's where the fun part is. We're going to go back. You're going to get your graphite sheet of paper. And you're going to take it and you're going to lay it face down. You're going to line up that paper right on that fold line. This is really important. So I've got the, the fold of the graphite on one side. I'm putting it down. I'm lining it up on the edge and these two edges. And this is important because if we um, if we have uh, to lift up our paper and put my graphite graphite on, you can easily put it back to where you got it, knowing where it, it's situated. Okay, so graphite down, and now I'm going to fold over, fold over the butterfly this way. And you don't want your paper too thick because I need to see through it. Now I think you can see it on the camera, but I can definitely see it. Now here's the fun. I'm going to start drawing this wing. I'm going to tra I'm tracing the lines that I did on one side. And I can see it so I'm just tracing. Like you like to trace in my classroom. And I'm going to put those lines down as fast as I can. For sake of time. You can pause at any moment if I'm going too fast. Got my spiral. Got my heart. I'm just tracing through the paper the lines of the butterfly that I can see. Okay, there's my heart. Here's the kind of the hot dog shape that we drew. Here's the half circle, his eyes, he's smiling. And we gotta do a six pack. This butterfly is ripped. Okay, are you ready for the magic? We're gonna unfold it. And I'm going to remove the paper and look what I did. The pressure from the pencil on the other side transferred that graphite. But now I have a completely perfect symmetrical butterfly. And that's how you could do a face, anything that you want to have perfect on each side. I just taught you the best lesson ever. Now also, I know that you like to, um, if you don't have trace paper at home, uh, you can print something out. I've got a little kawaii avocado. He's very cute. Uh, you can print any line drawing off the internet. A shoe, a soccer ball, a ballerina, a unicorn. And I'm going to take my graphite paper again. I'm going to flip it over just like this. And I'm going to put this print right on top. And I'm going to just trace it like you use the tracing paper in my room. I am going to trace that avocado. I just ate one for lunch today. Delicious. So I'm just gonna do that. Cute little cheeks. Let's do that little circle in here. Okay, are you ready for the magic? Are you ready for the magic? Oh yeah! We've got an avocado. Kind of looks like he's screaming actually. <laughs> anyway, now you can color it. You can print a whole bunch of things and arrange them on the paper. But now you know how to trace without tracing paper. I think I just blew your mind. Anyway, um, go ahead. If you know summer's about here, I've taught you a fun trick. There's a thousand things you can do with this graphite. But um, go ahead and have fun. And I definitely miss you.